What's going on guys and welcome back to another video tutorial. My name is Calum and today I'm going to be going over how to install Docker Desktop onto your laptop computer so that you can run containers from your laptop. I'm making this video for one of our viewers. Shout out to Aaron K1664 for requesting this video. This will be the first of two videos. This first video will cover just Docker Desktop install. In the next video, we'll cover how to deploy an OpenFire chat server inside of a container on Docker Desktop. Before we get started, we're going to jump right over here to uh, a Google window. I just did a real quick search for Docker Desktop, and uh, the second link down, there's a link that says Install Docker Desktop on Windows. If you scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll see the option there to download Docker Desktop from Windows. Go ahead and just click on that and let that download complete. Once that download's complete, we're going to go ahead and run the executable and start the install. Once the install kicks off, you'll be presented with a window that looks like this. Um, I went ahead and just left both of these checkboxes checked. Uh, the first one says use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V. WSL is the Windows a subsystem for Linux and allows you to run Linux commands in your Windows environment. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it's going to go through the install process. Um, the first time I did this, it took about two or three minutes. Depending on uh, your hardware, it may take a little bit longer or shorter. Once the installer completes, you'll be presented with this window, letting you know that the installation succeeded. I'm going to go ahead and click Close. And then we're going to launch Docker Desktop. On the first launch, it will present you with a uh, ser subscription service agreement. Uh, the bottom line here, the thing you're agreeing to is that uh, you're not using this commercially uh, at a company with more than 250 employees or more than $10 million in annual revenue. Um, that doesn't apply to me, so I'm going to click Accept. And now it's brought us to a welcome screen. Uh, the first thing it's going to do is ask you if you're using Docker for work or personal. I'm going to put personal and enter in my email address and click next. As soon as you click next, it is going to ask, it's going to open up a, a Chrome window. Uh, let me jump over to that real fast so that you can see it. And it's basically asking if. Uh, if it can open, open Docker Desktop with authentication from, from Chrome. Um, once you click on that, you can click Proceed to Docker Desktop, and it will shoot you right back over to the application. And this is what it's going to look like. It's going to ask uh, what your role is. Uh, in this exact moment, I'm going to put myself down as a teacher. Um, I'm going to say that I'm using this for hobby projects and deploying applications and learning or teaching. I'm going to click Next, and then I'll be presented with the Docker window. Uh, as you can see over here on the left-hand side, you have uh, a section for containers, images, volumes, builds, and then Docker Scout. Docker Scout is a really handy tool to do uh, security analysis on any uh, containers that you might be running. Uh, and I might do a video on that uh, in the future. Uh, but for now, we're going to go back to containers. Uh, down here, there's a little button so you can open up a terminal. And we're going to enable the Docker terminal. From this terminal, we can pull down images and run Docker commands just as if we were in a Linux environment with a Docker engine installed. Um, to start, um, or to demonstrate, I'm going to type in docker pull Nascaron OpenFire, and I'm going to pull down 4.9.0. I know that's a valid version of OpenFire, and it's going to go ahead and download that image. As you can see, the Docker command is identical as it would be anywhere else, but I'm running it from my laptop computer. From my laptop now, I can run containers, build applications, save those images, export them, um, and what have you. This is really handy if you have a pop-up requirement to host an application like a chat server or something uh, and you, you don't have servers handy, you can just deploy a container that's already configured and built with your chat server on it. And then if you need to move it to a server for more persistence or something like that, you can just export the volume 
and the container and then spin it up wherever it is you need to host it. So it's pretty handy. It's that simple. Um, I now have Docker desktop on my laptop. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I wanted this video to be just a real quick run through on how to get up and running with Docker on your desktop or laptop computer. If you have any questions or any requests, uh, feel free to dump them down in the comment box below. Uh, I always try to get back to everybody who leaves me a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. God bless. Have a great day.